What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you at nine in the morning, Sunday morning here in Barbados, and today I'm excited because I'm having a Trini breakfast in Barbados. If you guys don't know, about four months ago, I visited the country of Trinidad and Tobago, and I fell in love with the cuisine, especially breakfast, doubles, alu pie, pilories, et cetera, and you know what? Because of that trip, I'm here in Barbados because one of my fans, Auntie Indra, is the one who contacted me and got me here with the Bayesians. Incredible, thank you so much to Auntie Indra, and what were you doing today? Well, Auntie Indra is making breakfast for us. She's making doubles, making alu pie, bake uh, salt fish, uh, so I think it's herring, as well as tomato choca. And right now it's starting to rain, so let's go inside. My man, you ready? I'm hungry, let me go. Hungry, you ready? Oh, dude, for sure. All right, so we are here at my boy Craig's home. Uh, yeah, man, let's do this. It's gonna be fun. Welcome to mi casa. Thank you. My friend Arissa, how you doing? Very, very good. Is your mom already in the kitchen? Yes, she is. No way. I can smell it. <laughs> smell the doubles, the bara. Auntie Indra, Hi, how you doing? Good morning. Thanks. You already started without me? <laughs> so if you guys don't know, that is a bara. Well, I used to say this wrong. I said bara because I speak Spanish, but it's bara, right? Bara. Bara, so it's made with uh, all-purpose flour, correct? Flour and split powder, authentic bara. Authentic bara. type is just flour. Just flour. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So you have the bar here, you have bake and you have alu pie, right? Fry bake and smoke herring. And smoked herring? Oh, the smoked herring right here. And that is the dough for the bara. Correct. This is stuffing by the alu pie. How many are you making today? <laughs> as much as you want. <laughs> and what type of chutneys you got? You got tamarind, Tamarin, coconut? Not coconut, tamarind and mango. And mango. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pepper sauce. pepper sauce as well. Of course, you cannot have doubles without some pepper. pepper. Without pepper. And by the way, she's the one who invited me again, and she has an Airbnb. So I'm staying at her Airbnb. It's amazing. It's right next to the beach, only like a two minute walk from the beach. It's a one bedroom, uh, one bath. You have a kitchen. Yeah, it's an amazing experience. I've been here for six days so far. <laughs> All sponsored by Jet Express. By Jet Express, yes. right? Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm hungry. I'm ready. All right. All right, so let's start. Okay, so we'll do the doubles first. So we do the dough, and the oil has to be really hot. So you push, pull, and then you. you guys, look how fast this is! Super fast. Yes. Oh. So it's really hot. You turn, take out, and it's good to go. So fast. Really fast. So how long you been in uh, Barbados for? I am here on work, of course, mm -hmm. at Jet Express. I am here only uh, two weeks at a time. Okay. I didn't know that. Airbnb is Craig's. And your sponsorship, Jet Express sponsored your accommodation. So it's Craig's Airbnb, which is Ginger's Cottage, courtesy. Ginger. Ginger's carrots? Crushing. Oh yeah, what are you doing, dude? Coconut jelly. You'll have to show him Ginger. Reason for Ginger's cottage. Is it the cat? Yes. <laughs> Look at the cat. Ginger. Mm -hmm. Hey Ginger, how are you doing? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute since I've had a double. This is how they do it in Trinidad, right? So when you're going anywhere in Trinidad, there's doubles like literally every corner is a double in the spot, right? I mean, look, I'm crying. I, from my understanding, there's like over 2,000 double spots in Trinidad. And uh, this is what they do, right? Every single day. Usually what they do is they start at three in the morning. They make like, a lot of bars. They put it into, um, into a cooler, right? And then from there, they take it to the street and then they sell. Mm -hmm. You know, some places so, do it on the spot, but some pl most places do it like that. Yes, because they have made it mobile, but I learned doubles from my grandmother because she started selling doubles in the market when we, when we were children. Oh yeah? Yes. So this is her recipe. Oh yeah? She taught all of us to learn how to make doubles and sell to earn a living. Uh, how many bars can you eat, man? Oh, uh, too many, too many. Too many. <laughs> I mean, it's like pasta. I mean, I like that they're nice and small. They're not too big, right? And the way it works with doubles is that you get two of these, so two bar, that's why it's called a double. You can also have a triple, you can have a quad, but if you do it like that, it's just a little too much um, 
borrow with uh, like not enough uh, yeah. chana, not enough chutneys, right? Yeah. And then where's the chana? That's the one thing I haven't seen. All right there. Mm, it smells so good, this chana. Okay, so I have to wash my hands, right? Okay. Enough, enough. Alright. And then next up, I'm gonna get the bar, right? So right there. Alright. All right. So then you have to take it like this. Okay, so like take it a little bit like that. Is that good enough? Yeah. And then right here. And then you push and pull to flatten it out. Just so like that? Yes, push and pull. I just don't want to the make ends, holes. The ends. Okay. Is that okay? Or like more? It's a little too thick. Yeah, you, you need to just spread it all. More? More, right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that goes yeah, straight okay. in. Here we go, guys. Watch this. Gotta be careful here. So it goes really fast. Uh -huh. So turn it really quick. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm hmm. Take out. Just like that. Super fast, right? And then from there, right here. Mm -hmm. So you let the oil drain and then we keep going, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that's good for that. Let's do an aloo pie, right? Okay. Okay, so we have one here. Right. So we'll do one from, from scratch. So. so it's a different dough. Yes. Okay. This, this dough, the, it's just flour. Okay. Yeah, so then we. Fill it. All right. So fill it. Mm -hmm. we'll do it like this. So she closes it like that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Always seal does it. that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it seals it, but it's also another way to know what which one it is. Because sometimes if it's an eggplant or sometimes they have other things inside the pie, mm -hmm. they'll change that, right? So that goes straight in. Mm -hmm. Right there. So I'm gonna flip it. Mm -hmm. So flip one time. Flip and it swells up. Okay. And then, that's good? Need some more time? Yeah. I'm a novice, guys. <laughs> Flip. So that's like golden brown, right? Golden brown, golden brown. nice color. Take it all that oil, so you let the oil drain right back into the pot. And then, one, two, three, straight in here. And that's an alu pie. It's amazing. Let's do some more alu pies. So this one, it's pretty stuffed, huh? So the alapai reminds me of like an empanada, just the, the I guess the, the shape, right? Mm -hmm. But definitely not empanada, nothing to do with it. And this is all veg, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing here, it has um, meat, but there is some fish on the side for the bake, right? Right, that's a smoked herring. Mm-hmm, a smoked herring. Yeah. Just like that. And the way that I seen it in, uh, in Trinidad, when I went to the doubles factory at three in the morning, they had a huge pot. And they had like 50 doubles going on one time. And it's just like nonstop or baras, baras, you know, that. Bara, bara, bara. Not bara, that's Spanish. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. I know, but because in, in Espanol it's bara. Yeah, you rule your R's in yeah. Spanish. Bara. Really? Oh, yeah. Barbados? Mm hmm. Okay. He's got to go to Florida, so. Spray bake, for this small parent. Okay. So what's the difference between bake, a bara, and the pie? What's the difference? Right, so in bara, you have a mixture of flour and split peas flour in order to make bara the authentic way. In fry bake, it's just flour, baking powder, salt. Perfect. So it's more or less the same thing. You just have the same concept, you can say. It's just that you have different textures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely a different shape, right? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a circular bread. Yeah, it does remind me of a bara, but different color, right? Because that's a split piece. That's, right. why, that's why the bar looks a little different, right? Right, and with the bake, it, it swells so that it's easy to open. Mm -hmm. To put the filling inside. Yeah, look at that. Here in Barbados, they also do bake, and that's usually with like salt fish, right? Salt fish. The way I had it in Trinidad was in Morocco's, mm -hmm. Morocco's beach. I had a bacon <laughs> shark. Now that was epic. That was my favorite fish sandwich of all time. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you cut it open, they put this huge piece of shark in there, which I think was hammerhead shark, and then uh, you fill it up with some toppings, right? Uh -huh. Delicious. Condiments. 
Ja, ja. ja. Wow. What are you going to do with the rest of the bar? S small little pylories. Yeah. Oh, that's fast, that's fast. It's amazing. There's nothing like being in a Trini kitchen. Oh my god, yeah. That one's too crispy. Yeah, this one. That one's crispy, crispy, crispy. This one. <laughs> so, the rest of the bara is purely turning into pylories. Just don't let them get too cooked, right? No. How fast that is, huh? Super quick. And your mom keeps dropping more and more in. <laughs> We're not wasting any of that dough, right? No. Like so fast. Well, let me try to get one. Go. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get one, guys. So just like piss up. Yeah, they're done, right? So you just put them here. And then this last one, letting it get golden brown. I think it's done. So let that oil drip, right? And then right here, oh, I'll put it here. So maybe move all of them here, right? You know what? It's easy like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying my best here. I'm not a chef, I told you guys. Never cooked a thing in my life. Actually, eggs and pancakes, it's easy. <laughs> okay, so hands washed again. Yeah. Wash the hands, and now we're gonna do the smoke herring, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see. So first oil to the pan. So the smoked herring is boiled twice because you know it's very salty. So I boil it, wash it, sort of debone it a little bit and prepare it for cooking now. Okay. We're gonna put the onions. Alright, and pepper. You just sort it, like get the onions tender a little bit, but not burn. Okay. So that the flavor remains. And you smoke herring. Now she's gonna add the smoked herring right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that you mix it together like that. So what did you add there? Pepper and some green seasoning. Homemade green seasoning, got a chili in there. Well, a nice pepper, what was that? It's not cayenne, right? No, this is local pepper, I guess it's... From Barbados? Yes. So Bajan pepper right here. Bajan pepper. Bajan right pepper. <laughs> Bajan pepper. And that's it. Oh, perfect. So a lot of you might be thinking why I'm eating Trini food here in Barbados. Well, I love Trini food. That's why. Oh, <laughs> You know what, guys? I'm going to try it directly from here. A little bit of herring. There's a little oh. bit of bones in here. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing herring. Mmm. Well, yeah, that was good. Not, not too spicy. Perfect. Okay. I didn't even touch a spoon, guys, so don't worry about that. <laughs> No, people are gonna be like, you touched the spoon. Like, no, no, I didn't. I just at the very end. So now we're gonna get the chana. That's chickpeas, of course. In Hindi, chana. Chana. is the best. No matter what, I can eat chana every day. So we are doing a Trini breakfast in Barbados. Okay, Nurse, are you ready? I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do we start? Doubles? Doubles. Yes. Doubles. So two bar. Okay, so. Get two for you, yes. two for me. Sorry that I touched it, but it's okay, right? We're all family here, <laughs> right? And then, uh, so we got... The chana. The chana first, yeah, yeah. Yes. Chana first, of course. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. How much do you want? Uh, another one. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. And then the way you do this, guys, is that you add the chana, and then you add the chutneys, and then we're gonna use one of the baras to get the other one, right? So, which one do you want from this? The tamarind. Okay. Tamarind chutney. This is tamarind and mango. That's, That's mango. This is one mango. This is mango, okay. Amazing. So, 
This is the best part about this, right? And this one is a tamarind. So the tamarind is nice and sweet. Mango is sweet as well. So it's going to be a little sweet. All right, these bad, ooh, like that. Yes, yes. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a cucumber chutney. Cucumber? So just a little bit. A little bit, huh? Yeah. You only want a little bit? I guess I'll get it. Look yeah. at that. And then we have... And this is what makes this this, right? <laughs> this is going to be epic. Oh my god, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit? How much? How much? Yeah, that, that, yeah that's good. That's, that's good. good, that's good. I'm like... <laughs> come on. You know, the first night I got here, when I arrived at the Airbnb, her mother, auntie, had a spread for us, and it was amazing. Yes. And I woke up the next day, and my stomach did hurt, because that pepper is hot. <laughs> Are you still wearing heavy on it? Yeah, so here we go, right? So we're gonna go at that. I usually eat it like. You do it like that? Yeah. Oh, I do it straight like this, right? Yes. I just pick up. Pick up everything, and then. Oh, and then we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It literally takes me back to everything Trinidad. Everything just comes together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So much flavor. A little spicy. Oh, the crispiness of the dough. Mm. Mm-hmm. I love that your mom made them a little smaller. Mm -hmm. Some people make them like almost the size of this plate. And it's too big. Traditionally, they're supposed to be small. It's supposed to be bite size because bite size. it's a, a breakfast dish. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this, guys. So this is the true way. Two bites, right? Like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And one more bite. Mm. It's too much. Let me get some of the pilori. Mix it in with this. Nice spice. Ooh, I feel that pepper now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Today I'm going to do this. I spared you. That's okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, is it raining inside? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna add some of this onto the Lord. Well, you should try it out when you borrow. I will. I'll have another one now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want some? Because, oh, yeah, you try it. Oh, it's good. Nice and sweet with this. It'll marry well with the tamarind and the mango chutney. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I mean, that pineapple with mango mixed with the mango chutney. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be amazing with the doubles. One day when I have doubles 305 in Miami, Nice. I'll do that. David's doubles. David's doubles. And so like now I do this, grab, right? As much as I can. And then I'll add this, right? So first time trying David's been here hot sauce on a double. You know what? A little more for you. We're finishing this bottle today. Last day in Barbados. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. Made oh, for wow. doubles. Made for doubles. It's incredible. Mm. You know what I love about doubles in the Trini breakfast? Comfort food. Mm -hmm. Straight up comfort. Mm. And you're allowed to lick your fingers. I've actually seen people do this. They get to play and they go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Oh, my nobody around. <laughs> my nobody around, no, but when nobody's around me, baby. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. So nice, Indra. Thank you so much. That was fantastic. Now, we try a pie, right? Yeah, our pie. And for the pie, same thing, right? We're going to build it. Yeah. So, I'm going to grab one pie. So, you cut it open? Yeah, So, you, okay, so we're going to cut it open. Got it. Oh, actually, you could just peel Oh, yeah, yeah. We could peel it. We could peel it back. The side, the other side. The other side, right there. Yes, just open it up right here. No, it's good like this. So same thing, right? So we're gonna add the chana. Chana. It's almost the same as double, but the difference is here is that it's a little bit of a different dough, and we have inside um, alu, right? I've also had it with eggplant before, like an eggplant pie. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, I think it's called the Green Shed is the place I went to. Oh. Green Shed and um, and that is in Debe. In oh. Debe. It's crazy how I remember all the names, huh? Yeah. They like, have new variations now. They have so many, right? 
And so we're gonna keep going, right? Yeah. Got some mango. Mango. Mango's nice and yummy, a little sweet, a little tarty too, this one. Yes. And then we also got, how much you wanted this? You want very little, right? You're not a big cucumber girl? Just a little bit, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll fill mine up a little more. <laughs> and then at the very end, you add the pepper. So she's not really too much into yeah, spice, so, oh, sorry. That's all right, that's good, that's good. Right here. Because I know it's hot, so I go easy on it. I don't. <laughs> Mmm, 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 that is good. All right, so now we fold it back up. And literally, you could do this too. Like, yeah. you could just like... This one's big. Oh, oh, oh. This is like, I'm back in Trinidad, it's amazing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. Mmm, the flavors, contrast and textures too. Just enough aloo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like your mom didn't put too much aloo, because some people just like, they fill it up way too much. This is nice. Oh, sometimes you don't get enough. Mm-hmm. It's like samosas, sometimes they're empty, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you're like, what did the guy do here? Mmm, oh, I love it with the, with the DBH hot sauce. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What a breakfast. You know, the last day when I was in Trinidad, I did a doubles tour. Guess how many doubles I ate? I did, I did five, five places. One place a triple and the other place is double. So I had 11 bar. Oh. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good tour to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is an amazing breakfast. Oh, you made me so happy. You know something about this breakfast? I like the heat. I like how comforting it is. It's filling. And this was like made of uh, like a spin on chole batore, which is an Indian dish. Oh, yeah, when the Indians came to Trinidad, they didn't come with like all their ingredients and everything that they would have had it in there. Mm -hmm. So whatever was available in Trinidad, they just replicated what they could from in their home mm -hmm. back in Trinidad. Yeah, and this is the only place in the world where they do Doubles. Nowhere else. No other Caribbean island. Guyana doesn't do it. Suriname doesn't do it. None other places do it. Mm. Oh wow! Feeling the heat, right? You can see it on my head. Like I'm burning up. Okay, so next up we have two more things, right? So we have the tomato, tomato truco. And this is almost like a, like a, I guess like a, what would you call it? Salsa. Oh yeah, yeah. That like a tomato salsa, salsa right? Yeah. But it's thicker. Yeah. Do you want more? Or are you good? Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. I'm the one that's overeating today. That's fine. It's all good. As much as you can. We're going on a coconut tour later. <laughs> so get the bake, right? This is the bake. Beautiful. And the same thing, right? So we open it up. Yeah. I normally open it up. And just stuff it with everything. Yeah. So again, like I had this in Morocco Beach with the shark, but it was a lot bigger. You open it up like that. Beautiful. Nice and fluffy. Yeah. And then we, um, we just put the herring inside, right? And then the chocolate, do we eat it with this or no? Yes. Yeah. You yes, of course, right? You want more? Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay. So then what I should do is use one of these spoons, right? Mm -hmm. To like grab this and put it on top. Just like that. Oh, I love tomato choca. So I've had tomato choca and I've had uh, eggplant choca as well. Bygone so, choca. Bygone choca, exactly. Do you want this? Yeah. Yeah. The variation of Malinger we get in Barbados is different to Trinidad. Mm -hmm. So it comes out a little bit different. It doesn't have the same like flavor and texture. Got it, got it. Yeah. Wow, okay. the pepper's hitting me. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, nice. So good. Smoky. Those salty. Mm hmm. You're right, I'm oh It's so good. It's like a sandwich, a salt fish sandwich with tomato. Mmm. I love it. I eat this all day, guys. Feel good food. Mm hmm. It's amazing that in the States, impossible to find. Yeah, I mean, we can go some places in Little Guyana, in um, Queens. There they have a huge Trini population. That was the first time I tried doubles, it was up there. Oh, 
okay. How but, does compared to where you nah, had a controller? Not the same thing ever. Mm -mm. I had it also Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, but it's never gonna taste the same as Trinidad. Right. No, and also the bake, they didn't have any bake with soft fish or anything like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You done? <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, you continue. <laughs> I'm gonna have another pilori with some sauce. Like that, perfect. Mm hmm. Mm. It's my last day in Barbados. I'm going all out with the food. Mm. -hmm. mm. Too much food, huh? I'm gonna show you how much Auntie made. Look at this, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna embarrass. They throw off for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put some more chat in here, right? Like that. Some tamarind. Some mango, nice amount of pepper, like that. Ooh, and then. Really love your pepper. Mm hmm. Oh, with some of that too. It's good. <laughs> Food's outstanding. Mm hmm. It's a true home cooked Trini breakfast. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Look at it. I'm like sweating. I need water. I should need coconut water. Luckily for us, you know, Sundays here in uh, in Barbados, there's coconut day, right? Mm -hmm. So people go on coconut runs, basically. They go out, they have coconut with their family and friends. You can have tender coconut, which is the jelly, right? You have coconut water. And so many different variations of coconuts. We're gonna go experience that later. For now, we're gonna enjoy this. I, I, think, I think she's done, but <laughs> I'm not done yet. Well, that was an amazing breakfast. It was. I'm full. I'm super full too. <laughs> so now you guys know, when you're ever in Barbados, definitely stay at this Airbnb. Her mother's Airbnb, it's a one bedroom, one bath, you got a kitchen, you have a... Um, it's a sofa couch and an extra mattress so you can sleep so four. Small. You can sleep four, right? Mm -hmm. There's also, so in the kitchen you have a microwave, you also have a TV, you have a little small fridge. Right. And then from there, it's literally a two minute walk. I just did it this morning, we walked right outside, we made a right, and go straight to the beach. You get down, it's like a hidden beach right there. You just get down in the rocks, it was amazing. I really should have gone this morning and jumped in, but it's okay. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this Trini breakfast. If you're ever in Barbados, stay at their Airbnb, and hopefully one day they'll be offering Trini breakfast soon, right? <laughs> She's like, no, nah, that's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> Bed and breakfast, exactly, exactly. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content, and I'll see you on the other side of Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm burning up, dude. I should love to see you on the other side of Pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>